on this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6 for the latest PlayStation 4 update 10.5, I believe. So let's get right into this. So if you're able to log into your console and even like your updates just kind of failing in the I'll show you in the notification section like over here it just says pending it doesn't say installed like mine you can actually click into it it's still pending and it's possibly failing I want you to basically right off the bat if you can pause it or stop it or delete it from here like basically clicking into it I would highly advise you to do so so I want you to essentially do this and kind of go from there the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of times you updating your console directly from here is what's going to end up causing issues and not making it work for you so you want to essentially update it via safe mode which i'm going to show you in a few seconds on how to go to and what to do essentially so that is the main thing that you need to kind of be cognizant of if if you even are able to get to this point most of the folks watching are probably not even able to get to this point sadly and they're going to have to essentially end up going into safe mode so what you need to do is you want to hold on to your PlayStation button, you want to go onto your controller, and you want to turn off your PlayStation 4 completely, as you can see my, myself doing so. And once we have this completely turned off, even with the, the, the light not flashing on the console anymore, we want it to completely fully turn off, we are going to enter into safe mode, and I'm going to tell you and show you how to essentially do this, and I'm going to tell you the steps to take inside of safe mode to essentially fix this issue. So once this is fully turned off, it's still flashing. I'm just going to wait like another 10 seconds or so. All right, I believe it's turned off. So you want to hold on to the power button for about five to eight seconds until you hear two beeps. So you'll you'll hear a second beep. And if you don't, regardless, kind of let go. I ah, see. I heard it. Let go after eight seconds. So you're going to see on the screen on top over there is going to say essentially safe mode. Boom. As you can see over there, it says it right there, safe mode. And it says connect the DualShock 4 using a USB cable. So you want to make sure you have a USB cable and make sure like mine is a little flimsy. So make sure like it's kind of charging and it's connected directly to the PlayStation 4 and then press the PlayStation button. So you can't use the analog stick in here. You have to use the D-pad. So you're going to have to be cognizant of that. So we're going to do a couple things here. A lot of times folks usually don't know what to do and how to essentially do it because again, it's the PlayStation 4, it's old. A lot of folks are gonna get these issues. So the first thing I would recommend you all to do is rebuild your database before you even try to do the update. Rebuild your database from here is gonna take you a few hours to a few minutes to a few hours depending on how long you did it last. So you will always wanna kind of go with that. This helps fix a lot of internal issues and gives you a better head start on like getting your system updated. So you wanna kind of go down that route, rebuild your database. The next step is once you do that, you're probably gonna to have to come back to the screen again. So you're gonna to have to turn off your console, come back again. And then the next thing is in here, we wanna go with update your, uh, essentially update this one, number three, update system software. So we can do update using internet, even though I've actually technically already updated my console i can do it again if i want to so a lot of folks usually don't know you could if you're getting stuck just do it from here again and you should be good to go if for whatever reason this is failing for you you can try the next one which is update from usb storage device i will leave a video link in the description below on how to do this but essentially very similarly you want to uh download the update directly from sony's website on your usb device and you want to essentially copy that over and the uh, the update one not the reformatting one there's two files like i said i'll leave a video in the description below for you guys to follow on how to do it and you want to essentially take that turn off your console put in the usb turn it back on into safe mode and press the update from usb storage device section a lot of times the failure or you getting this error is due to the fact that you're not you're updating from the internet but it's failing because you have bad internet connection something is failing somewhere even if you have good internet connection, the, the, the something is failing. It's just not going through appropriately. It's just failing when it's trying to like do the download process. Now, let's say you tried both those methods and you still failed. The final thing you might have to try, uh, number one is tr initializing PS4, which is if you do this, you're going to delete all your data from the PlayStation 4, all users and data. But if you try this and it doesn't work, the final option, number six and seven are both bad options. Bad in the sense that if you do this, you're gonna lose all your data pretty much. And I would recommend you to not try these methods until you try all the other methods I've initially mentioned to you. The final one would be initializing it via a USB storage device. So as you can see over here, it says connect a 
a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 10.5 or later. You can download the uh, update file from PlayStation.com. So this is similar to that update file with a USB device for the other one that I mentioned. The only difference is you're downloading a different file and this is a reinstallation file. So essentially it's going to delete everything off of your console sadly. So if you were able to log into your console for whatever reason, I would recommend you to do a backup, save it to the cloud, get your save files wherever you can. The games don't worry, you can re-download them, specifically the save files, put them to the cloud on your PlayStation Plus if you can, if you hadn't done so already. If you had, great, just you might have to do this if all those other options didn't work. And if, and this, I'm only saying to save them if you're even able to go into the console. Most likely if you have this error, you most likely can't even go into the console, hence why you're trying these I guess extreme methods out to be able to essentially get these er issues, like, I guess, resolved. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, just to kind of recap, if you're able to go into the console itself, would highly recommend you to just pause slash delete the download directly because that is where it most likely you will be getting issues. Uh, if you were able to do that, uh, or even if not, always rebuild your database and then go into the update system software, do update using internet, that fails, you want to kind of go down the route of having it, like I said, updated via a USB device. And like I said, all videos in the link will be in the description and the comment section below for you guys. And then obviously if that fails, you're going to have to try number six. And worst and final case <laughs> will be number seven. It sucks. I know folks that have sadly had to go down that final number seven route or six and seven route and ended up having then basically got their issues resolved that way. But like I said, I would I, I would advise if folks don't have to sadly do that and kind of go from there. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it from my end. If you guys still have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help you guys out. If you guys are getting other errors, other issues, other problems, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you out, look through it, and resolve those issues. If you guys uh, overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Mogaming out. Peace.